Hello everyone and welcome to coverage of round 17 of the late breaking online racing league from Monaco. My name's Ben Hocking. My name is Harry Eade. And my name is Samuel Sage and I'm terrified. Oh yeah, terrified. I think you speak for all the drivers to be honest. Certainly an intimidating circuit is Monaco. Someone's turned the lights out as well. Yeah, we're doing it at night just to add a bit more glitz and glamour to the already glamorous race that is Monaco. Why is everyone going out now? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, Sam has already touched on a very important point for Monaco is qualifying. You need space and there isn't a lot of it at this circuit. And of course, qualifying is so important around Monaco considering where you start is often very similar to where you end up. Exactly. So, um, I, 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 do you know what? I actually don't think that will be the case. Well, with the amount of incidents we might see, uh, yeah, we're not just... Well, I think we're expecting carnage. That's all we can say for this one. Looking at the championship going into this race, four rounds to go, and it's still very close up the top. In fact, less than a first and second place separate Nubar leader and Hickey in second. 2-1-4 plays 2-0-9. And Sam and Carnes, their destiny is also in their hands. If they won every race until the end of the year, they would win the championship regardless of what anyone else does. Don't say that. That means it's actually possible due to my ability. Yeah, exactly, Sam. Pressure's on. Pressure is on. And the pressure's on all of these guys that are in the... Uh... There's a yellow flag in sector one. Yeah, I think that could be Pat. Do you know what? It is. Pat's yeah. going straight on at, the at Sandoval into the barriers. That's a Marcus Ericsson right there. So, Monaco claims its first victim. I don't think Pat is going to be the last victim as we're on board with Bilal oh, Khan. Oh, he almost hit a recovering pat that was mightily close then yeah i'm not sure if that affected his lap too much he's still on max fuel so that indicates he is still going for it uh must point out that Carnes and racer don have gone out on super soft which is interesting yeah that'll be interesting it's only really a, a one stop that's possible here obviously you either start on the ultra soft or the super soft and then go to the alternative later on in the race maybe Carnes hoping for a safety car late in the race uh, that he could take advantage of We've got another yellow in sector two who is the last yeah it's pat very nicely getting out of my way um, well yes he's getting out of everyone's way okay, in so that that's shape just before the tunnel he's gone off now and it's in reverse. Oh my lord. We could be here for days. Yeah. Portier is difficult, no doubt about it. It's a 53 point turn for Pat. Uh, and we've got a couple of lap times coming in and it's Mayner who's gone quickest ahead of Noob so perhaps not the fastest lap for him as Janssen goes quicker than them both and Bilal Khan has gone 1.6 seconds quicker again so a 1.12.3 for Bilal Khan could be competitive. Sam goes second to 113.1. We had a brief yellow in set three. I don't think we're going to be able to keep up with all these yellow flags, but we'll try our very best for you guys. Yeah. Uh, Khan's abandoned his lap as well. He's gone straight into the pit, so obviously not feeling that the soft, uh, super softs were well, any good. Sam's teammate DJ Marshall going to be happy with that lap. He's into third, so a salva 2-3 at the moment. Still a long way to go, but a good start for the pair. Gilly's had a couple of difficult races recently. When he's on form, he really is, but not been able to provide the oh, consistency and hello. he's gone quickest just over a tenth quicker than Bilal Khan a good lap by the hash driver and Jack Kiki's just come out the pit lane behind us he's going for a quieter track he's going for the Lopez approach as I've now coined it yeah it's uh it's very accurate considering Lopez's strategy and it looks as if he's going to do something similar yet again the last two corners putting on the DRS and Jack Hickey and he goes fourth he well, goes slightly bad. slower than sam so he's in the mix uh but only a couple attempts off gillian first it's fascinating to see really we've got the top four obviously but so many guys below such as noob in eighth and Carnes and lopez who haven't set lap times yet could improve a lot lopez where's he gonna go he's gonna go seventh for 113.8 um i think he'll be hoping for a couple more positions than that he certainly has done in other qualifying so far as hickey uh, it's gonna go out for his second well, that might stint be... very soon. Oh, yeah, he will have time, just time about. Yeah. And oh, there we go. Noob's turned up seven Whoa, tenths quicker hello. than Gilly. Noob again, just dropping those bombshells of laps. He keeps doing it. He's got two pole positions in a row. Uh, he got pole in Japan, and then he got pole last time out in China. He's looking to make it a three-peat with one here in Monaco too. Anyone who wants to beat him is gonna have to improve by a lot. Yeah, I don't think Balau's up at all this lap we'll see though it comes across the line now 
Uh, yeah, Bilal Khan is going to cross the line and he goes about a tenth slower. He does have the, la the fuel to do one more if he wants to, though. Um, Khan's did set a lap, but he's only gone tenth at the minute on those super soft tyres. Yeah, I'm surprised he went back out again on those. I thought he might go for ultras, but... He is risky. seven tenths up through one sector, though. So. Ah, right, OK. Maybe just a side there. Uh, on the yellow in sector two. Sure what that one is for yet, yeah, uh, as Noob is going to lay down the gauntlet he's not gonna do another lap 111.5 is what everyone's chasing oh, Pat Hagen's retired that might yeah oh, oh that's Pat's gonna be right in the way is in of Cairns as well that's a disaster with the, with the car moving time for Cairns I don't think it will I think he should just go through it oh, that was close uh, and why is the Dragons is retired as well so he will start he last go. did he go so I thought he had oh no looked like he had front wing damage there Here's Khans, and he's not going to have field to do any more, so it is this one lap. He's got four pole positions thus far. Oh, and oh he's no! Put it in the wall. Oh, he's put it in the wall, and oh, it's a disastrous qualifying session for Khans. Oh, he and someone's hit him! Who hit him? And apparently he had a collision with Lopez, but it's ended in a zero place grid penalty. Khans yeah. got no better than 10th. Khans seemed to slow down over the line. That was really strange. And then Lopez, obviously on a fast lap, tried yeah. to improve. He did actually get up to fourth. Yeah, he's only just behind Bilal Khan there, uh, as we're on board with Sam now. Yeah, I'm having to dodge traffic left, right and centre. Yeah, it's all sort of kicked off in going into this... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to leave this lap and get round to start another one before the session ends. Yeah, just under a minute to go. Bilal Khan's in the pit, so he's not going to do another lap. Uh, and Gilly actually set a lap time that was pretty good and oh, a 111.7. So close. But he is a couple of attempts down on this attempt, so perhaps that's going to be the best he can offer. I mean, second's not a bad place to start, although you obviously want pole. Oh, the further up, the better, no doubt about it. Nice route to back there, that was fast. He is really pushing the limits. It's fantastic to watch here from Gilly. The question is, is it quick enough? Final corner. Both we will soon find in. out. Uh, and the flag has come down. So this will be it for Gilly. Has he done it? Oh, he's improved ever so oh. slightly, but it's still uh, nearly two temps off noob. I think a 111.7 is as good as Gilly's going to get today. So that just leaves Sam and Hickey, and Sam is improving. That was about six temps, and Hickey... Left has, the session, that's a oh, disaster. Hopefully he can get back in. Could be connection issues for Hickey. As we watch him now go through the couple of corners, bit of a slide there, holds it together, and onto the DRS. He was six temps up earlier on in the lap. Where's he going to end up? Oh, uh, it's and he's gone P third. To, uh, P3, yeah. Yeah, he's gone ever so slightly slower than Gilly, but quicker than Balan, Balau and Lopez, who he was slower than. Oh, Hickey joined and has just left again. Yeah, so uh, Hickey, if he does start the race, we hope he does, will be sixth. Uh, and DJ Marshall's out of fuel. Yeah, DJ Marshall's not going to be improving on that time. Yeah, uh, we've got... Uh, all 15 did manage to set a lap time of sorts. It's Noob on pole for the third race in a row and the sixth time this year. Joining him on the front row is Gilly, a welcome return to the front row for him. The Google Sam Sage with that good last lap is going to start third, ahead of Bilal Khan in fourth. Lopez narrowly lost out to Bilal Khan, the Red Bull driver. He's fifth. Jack Hickey is in sixth, had to uh, presumably abandon his quick lap. Uh, Mayna is seventh. DJ Marshall is 8th, Janssen is ninth. Khan's on the super soft tyres, it's going to start 10th, Curly Apex is 11th, Racer Don is 12th, Pat O'Hagan 13th, Purple Petrol 14th and Wise of the Dragons rounds out the grid in 15th place. The Monaco circuit at night really is spectacular as Noob does his usual tradition of absolutely blasting round his lap. Yep, loves Formation it. Formation lap, Absolutely obviously. Absolutely loves a flying out lap, but yeah, that's his tactic, obviously. Some potentially bad news as Hickey in sixth. We saw he had the connection issues at the end of qualifying, and it looks as if they're not resolved, because if you pan to Hickey there, you'll just see a view of the pits. Bit of a disaster for our a championship. He's a sticky Hickey. He's in, yeah, nice one, Sam. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, obviously Hickey is one of our championship contenders. Uh, and Khans, uh, as you saw, got a uh, got a grid penalty. It showed up as zero on our screen, but it was actually five. So he will start from the back of the grid. So we've got 
of our four championship contenders, one is starting 15th and one isn't starting. Uh, Pat Hagen has left the session. We're raring to go for round 17 and it's not very long before the lights go out and Noob is going to look to gain the advantage over Gilly but he's giving him a real good go going into the first corner and Sam and Gilly very nearly contact there they're nearly side by side Sam has to concede it for the second DJ Marshall and Racer Don with really good starts in sixth and eighth but it looks as if uh no it looks as if we're pretty much incident clear yeah it was one yellow but wasn't sure who it was we've lost Power Hagen as well now which is a disaster for this lobby but we'll see what happens yeah the top five remain unchanged dj marshall probably the best start of the lot he's up two places to sixth yeah, we're just about there so khan's got the jump on wise of the dragons and pat hagen who is now joined and might be able to rejoin i'm not sure we'll see though new leads though coming into the new valve chicane for the first time already nearly a second clear which is a very similar gap to uh, from gilly to sam and then Bilal khan files in behind them Oh, and a Pebble Petrol's gone straight oh, on. Oh, disaster for Pebble Petrol. Maybe Janssen's lost a bit of front wing too no because he's into there. the pits. Janssen was looking to uh, perfect a super soft strategy, but that's not going to be the case yeah, if he's... Yeah, he's lost front wing too. Yeah. So, yeah, Janssen and Pebble Petrol, the only two that have had to come into the pits after the first lap. Considering some of the starts we've had, it's quite and eventful. considering this is Monaco... <laughs> pretty clean isn't it yeah surprisingly so uh, and Lopez has lost a couple of places actually I think Lopez has had an incident uh, yeah he Lopez has lost way. out four places there actually as he's now behind curly apex in eighth and uh, the good starts of racer Don and DJ Marshall continue they're up to seventh and fifth respectively oh and Bilal Khan hit the wall oh and Bilal Khan is the and latest Gilly is too already we're seeing the car struggle and oh gilly really really struggling with that corner and sam's going to be all over the back of him going into the straight oh Bilal khan's having a shocker there Bilal khan dives into the pits which allows dj marshall now to get up the fourth place uh, and sam is going to be desperate to get past the now slightly slower gilly slightly is a uh, understatement yeah he's missing a huge chunk of his front wing and look at the understeer i'm really here. trying to not rush past him Sam, oh, oh it's, you, oh, it's oh. I feel like really the decent thing to do would just be to let me through. Oh, this is for pride though, isn't it? It's pride in points, he doesn't want to give up the position, but he'll have to pit, surely, because it's too much understeer. Oh, look yeah, at that. I'd be surprised if he didn't come into the pits, to be honest. Jack He's Diggins. weaving all over the oh. track. And Lopez has picked up a three second time penalty to, to go alongside his pit stop that he's had to do, and Gilly makes it through the chicane and Sam is still right there. It's a fantastic camera angle we've got here. Oh, and, oh, and Gilly, the wall again. more contact in the wall. Oh, oh he's Gilly's out. gone. Gilly, Gilly is out. after qualifying second, after three laps, he's done and dusted. Wow, I don't know, he, he had to realize he had no, no uh, control there with no uh, front wing. That's a disaster and Sam's decided to box and come in so Mayna and DJ Marshall are up to second and third madness and Noob's got a nine second lead now it's ridiculous yeah. um, Sam which, which tyres did you go for? Uh, I went for these super softs do you think you'll be have to be pitting once more? I was kind of hoping for a safety car I'm totally honest yeah we'll see what Gertie happens Apex is pulled into the back of race of Don so he's missing front wing as well now Oh, and Monaco is not easy when you've got a full front wing. When you have anything less than that, it's even more difficult as uh, Kelly Opex is showing as he goes through the corner with no name there. Ooh, he's and sure hit. is he going to dive straight into the yeah. pits? He will, much to the delight of Carnes, no doubt, as he's now got some clear circuit ahead of him, at least until he catches Racer Don, who, like Carnes, is on the super soft tyre. Uh, Janssen passes the ghost of Power Hagen. I haven't said that in a while either. Rest in peace, Pat. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, Pat somehow was in eighth, now in ninth, but still going. Yeah, um, obviously Pat O'Hagan hasn't actually retired despite not being in the session. So, well, if he if his ghost did end up finishing the race, he could pick up a point or two. At the moment, he's definitely on for some points, but we'll see what happens. Oh, Lopez has got past him now as well. Incredible battles. <laughs> 
Janssen is chasing after Bilal Khan. He seems to have some good pace, actually, just Janssen. Janssen has had a really good day thus far. Apart from um, the front wing change. Yeah, I, I decided to exclude that. <laughs> Apart from that bit, he's been going very well. Yeah, he's on rich fuel mix as well, so maybe he is driving with the intention of getting past Bilal Khan. Yeah, better be careful, though, because it's not got that much fuel to use. But we'll see what happens there. And I think he, he will want to get past Racer Don as soon as possible, because Sam isn't that far back down further down the road yeah Sam's already made a pit stop so we'll um Charles will want to dispose of the Mercedes pretty quickly do you think oh so slow through that corner isn't it so tricky slowest corner in Formula One. Oh, that was a bit deep for Carnes but he gets away with it yeah deep through Portier which isn't giving him a great run going through the tunnel uh, as Carnes is right on the back of Racer on this time out but obviously once you put the DRS on and by the time you actually get into a position where you might consider an overtake you run out of space it's the end we know Carnes is critical with his overtaking oh. so I don't think he'll rush it yeah, yeah that was close there he almost went straight on at Sandoval that was well held who did, who did? oh and Jansen's oh, gone Jansen. straight on at Mirabeau this isn't Nico Rosberg in qualifying come on oh and he's hit the wall oh. just for good measure so he's lost front wing now as well and Janssen after having pit once already. Was he battling with Balau? I thought I saw Balau going past someone, but well, um, well Janssen was behind Oh, were they Bilal. trying to lap? I don't know what went on there, anyway. Uh, no doubt Carnes is being slowed up by Racer Don because the gap between him and Sam has gone down by about three and a half seconds since we last checked in. Yeah, Carnes still can't find a way past the Mercedes driver. He's a bit closer this time, but again, if you are not close enough if you're not making a mistake going out of that final corner your chances of overtaking are so limited Carnes is remaining patient at the moment but as the laps go on is he going to be able to maintain that patience fairly apex has lost more front wings and he's coming to the pits again yep it's gonna be a record for a number of <laughs> number of pit stops in one race for just in general yeah and we've still got 29 laps to go Khan's still not finding a way past the Mercedes driver. Ferrari v Mercedes, oh it's oh so familiar. With a Salva in behind, that's not quite so familiar. And the Salva in front. the Salva. <laughs> yeah. Um, Look at that, overhead shot, fantastic stuff. Through the swimming pool. I'm kind of holding off a little bit, I don't want to be right behind them. Yeah, you might want to be slightly... Uh, Mainer's into the pits actually. Uh, oh, that's so that's a lot earlier. He did have a bit of front wing damage actually. So just making a bit of an earlier pit stop than maybe he would have liked to. I have to see where he comes out and whether that will play to his advantage in his battle with DJ Marshall, well, obviously. He's behind this battle. Who, who's that up ahead? Oh, it's purple that's Petrol. Purple he's petrol. Back to lap, so that's his the teammate. The Mercedes teammate. Him. Wow, that's a bit of sweep for uh, the Mercedes team. And he gets right out of the way of all three of them there. Yeah, doesn't want to be involved in this at all. It's tricky to I actually... I don't want to be involved in this. That's that spirit. <laughs> oh. is, I have to, I'm literally in a car park. Yeah, it's a bit tight, but all the, all the, the, all the while, I should say, Bilal Khan is closing up on this now three-way battle. Yeah, I think Racer Don is, let's not make it, you know, he is slower than the guys behind, no doubt, but he's playing to his strategy. You can't blame him for that. Oh, oh, he's gone wide, and he's though. gone wide, and that might just open the door for Sage. No, not I'm quite. not risking that. Through Casino Square. More Ooh. yellows this time in Sector 2. As we're on board with Sam, and he's gone up the inside. An overtaking move at Monaco, we've wow, seen it. Wow, who would have thought it? It was bold, it was brave, and it's come off. Well, Carnes wasn't able to get a move done. Can Sam? Oh, it's Sam's, oh, and the Sam's wall. gone into the wall. Oh, oh and on, on both sides as well. Disaster. Sam's gone straight on at uh, uh, Sander Vot trying to get past Racer Don, who is still in just about in one piece. And Carnes is in the. Carnes, as we yeah. suspected, did pit, and he is on the soft tyre now, so he'll be looking to uh, to not pit again, obviously. Uh, and Noob is into the pits from first. Oh, well, Bilal Khan's joined this battle now with Sam, who's obviously 
struggling with front wing damage. You've got Racer Don and now Bilal Khan all over him. And yeah, you're right, Noob on into the pits, onto the super soft tyres. And not going to rush that one, is he? Well, he's going to come out and he's gonna, still going to be leading. That's a massive advantage. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? Not bad at all for Noob. DJ Marshall, where he's. Nope, he's staying out. On this, board. this is hard. This is a lovely little, little train here. Yep. Sam followed by oh, Don, followed by Mayna. Bilal, and Maina's not far back now on those fresh super soft tyres. Sam will dive into the pits on this occasion. Yep, he does. And so the three of them are going to carry on. Racer Don not going for a pit stop yet. Doesn't fancy it. So Racer Don oh, previous. Actually, oh, Mayna's and look at, look at Bilal. Maina might be trying to move into Sam Devot, decides better of it, uh, and gets a better exit actually. So he may have an opportunity coming into. Uh, into the end of this Got first sector. Sector three, sector two. Yeah, that might be Wise of the Dragons retiring. Out of the swimming pool. Wise of the Dragons is no longer in this race. Wise of the Dragons, the second casualty. DJ Marshall and Racer Don were the only ones we were really waiting for from the top group to come into pit. DJ Marshall's got a bit of front wing missing actually. Um will that get repaired? I think he has a he has a seat he has a decent gap, hasn't he? Uh, well, Ooh, well actually Don's yeah. gonna jump in. And Balao and Mena, so they'll all get past him. Actually, this has worked extraordinarily well for Bilal. He's going to be in second and going to the end of the race. Yeah, and DJ Marshall, perhaps that damage was costing him because he's come out five seconds, if not more, behind Mayna, the guy that he was five seconds in front of. Yeah, that, how has that happened? That's very odd. I can only guess that DJ Marshall's had some sort of incident. Racer Don dive into the base. Oh, and Racer Don's gone wide. Oh, and that's let, let Bilal and Mayna through. And as a result, he's going to go into the pits. Change the front wing, yeah. And put on the ultra soft tyres. Uh, and actually, that's going to be a long way to go on the ultra soft tyres. Originally, that would have been his strategy, but I don't think he was set to pit for another good six or seven laps yet. Yeah, Lopez on the soft tyres. Not... not a Quick as Mayna on his super softs, uh, nor Racer Don on his ultra softs. Yeah, I'm sure Mayna will just be glad to get rid of the, oh, the front wing damage. And Curly Apex has left the session and he is running in the points. Um, he We've was seen in this before, it's almost like Curly Apex gets bored and just leaves. He's, he's, look, I'm not going to approve from here, I'll, I'll, I'll have enough. See you later, lads. Well, he's in ninth. We'll have to see if he does end up scoring anything. Uh, as the ghost of Pat O'Hagan makes another appearance in the battle, in the midst of the battle between Lopez and Mena. Uh, Mena is certainly sticking with Lopez. It's a dangerous game sticking close to someone on this circuit, as we've seen plenty of oh, times before. Again. And Mena once more has front wing damage. And Mena's going to carry on, but it's gone from bad to worse. It looked as if second or third was on the cards for him you Jans can't see it in the pits now. again with more front wing damage which means the ghost of power hagen is back into the points well yeah and you've got jansen who's come out uh, 11th and second last purple petrol is still in last he's oh, oh actually oh. as we go on board with purple petrol he very nearly bins it going out of the chicane Purple Petrol, he's been a regular point scorer all season, but he struggled us up the last few races. Didn't score in Azerbaijan, didn't score last time out in China either. Uh, and if things stay as they are, he won't score in Monaco. We've got Sam, who is... Four tenths, yeah. yeah not it's far behind Carnes now. Carnes not got a lot of pace in this second stint of the race. Perhaps Carnes a little worried because we have seen Sam make an overtake on him before. We, uh, we have to admit, obviously, Carnes did have the, the damage when that happened, but... Sam is close, though. Uh, and Mayna's got past Lopez actually, and oh, Lopez, Lopez hasn't got half a front wing either. It's the second person in the wall, about the same point I think, and Lopez bails into the pits. So Lopez, who we thought might be going to the end of the race, certainly isn't now, and will probably stick on a set of, uh, set of ultra softs and go to the end. Sam, patiently, sticking behind Carnes. I think we should rename this the front wing Grand Prix. Sounds good. <laughs> So many missing bits of front wing, it's ridiculous. Back onto Noob Lead Watch, 46.7 seconds. Should we, take, should we take a bet now to see how long, how big the gap is before the end of the race? Actually, Noob's got a bit of traffic in the form of uh, Mayna. Yeah, he'll be hoping that Mayna, who is not in a direct battle with anyone at the moment, does just get out of the way, which he does. Yeah, we, I mean, Mayna is in a direct battle, sort of, with Race of Dawn, so he doesn't want to lose too much time, but it doesn't seem like he has. Yeah, I think 
I think he's going to have the edge over race with Don just because those ultra soft tyres he'll even need to pit once more or they're going to oh. be dodging a Balau Khan so close to losing it going out of Sandovot there he's got a good position on the cards he doesn't want to do anything like that That's a, that was a big old tank slapper there Sam a bit better through the uh, chicane there oh so close coming to Raskas your opportunity to overtake is just so limited yeah sound a little bit squirmy out of the final corner there uh, and Lopez I think he's had some more damage again he has and that's absolutely no front wing left he's going to come in replace it and uh, he must be on what pit stop number three now yeah oh yeah pit stop number surely three. they can start borrowing noobs front wings he's not beating though our current leader on pit stop which, which is Janssen on number five well this is probably a good time to reveal that we are actually giving away 300 bonus points for the person who has the most pit stops <laughs> yeah Da, 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 da. It was a little bit of an unpopular decision, but we decided to run with it. Jansen's going to be so pleased with that one. Probably a good time to mention that we have just got three more races after this one. We've got the Brazilian Grand Prix next week. Uh, the following week after that is the Mexican Grand Prix. And then the season finale will take place at Belgium. We have obviously had 16 rounds before this one. They are all on YouTube if you want to catch them. Uh, actually, no, that's false advertising. We haven't got round <laughs> one. Oh, we haven't got... Uh round whatever round Abu Dhabi was either true but Technical apart from glitches. those two we've got all of them for you to watch on YouTube there's been some great action throughout the year uh, Bilal Khan's actually come into the pit so maybe those soft tyres were not going to the end uh, that's going to please DJ Marshall and it should please Khan's and the Googles yeah I thought Bilal Khan would be going back out on ultra softs actually with just 12 to go but he's gone for the super soft tyre uh, and that's going to demote him from second all the way down to at least fifth. I think he will come out in fifth. Yeah, at some point, the way Noob's going, he's going to approach this little battle, which he'll want everyone to get out of the way as cleanly as possible. But they'll want, they'll be one to fight for the podium. So this yeah. could get a bit no spicy doubt. towards the end here. In fact, Noob is probably very close to Bilal Khan. Let's have a look. Where's Bilal Khan? Yeah, you're right just up the road there yeah. is Bilal Khan Bilal Khan is going to have to get out of the way of his teammates soon enough hopefully everyone plays ball oh I think Khan's has lost his front of it near his front wing oh he yes has. he has he's lost a little bit of his front wing this is deja vu because we saw this earlier on in the race it did allow Sam to make an overtake before not sure whether it's going to be able to uh, get it done once more not going through the chicane at least and meanwhile DJ Marshall has actually managed to get away ever so slightly he has yet yeah, he'll be liking a bit of breathing space he wants to hang on to P2 does DJ DJ he's done a very good job of staying clean whoa, and whoa that was there. Right behind. that was weird that was in front of me well, on our screen Khan's jumped and you almost crashed into each other that was a very strange one Jack, trust me I'm more scared than you are terrified <laughs> That is the verdict. Oh, I pushed it to wall. Oh, and oh Sam's, out. Sam's gone. So Bilal Khan is going to have to uh, take advantage of that. We'll need a second invitation as he goes into fourth place. Mayna is promoted to fifth. Oh, as yeah. Khan's, the gap between the two of them hasn't really changed. It's 1.7 between DJ Marshall and Khan's, but Khan's is going to have a real difficulty making any sort of move with the front wing damage that he has. Yeah, he saw it was very deep into the into the hairpin there. Obviously he struggling. And his brother's in fourth place, not that far back, so he might need to watch his mirrors. But Lao Khan will be hungry for a podium. You can not take it easy from this position, and um, 25 points would go a long, long way. Oh man, on the ground, Sam Sage. He's out of here, ladies and gents. Uh, as Khans is yeah, a little bit closer to DJ Marshall, he probably wants to get uh, probably wants to get this overtake done before he gets lapped by Noob, to be honest. From wing, and Balal Khan is going to be well in with that fight as well. I think Noob hit the wall out of the exit there. He's lost a bit of front wing. He has. Um, it's faultless race that was going so well. It's. I mean, he's he's okay. Um, at this point, he he may just decide to pit. Yeah, why not? He's not. He's not losing. He could pit another, maybe even three times, and it'd still come out ahead of DJ Marshall. So he's built up such a gap that he can afford to do it. 
I was about to say before Noob did that, um, it must be quite tough to swallow for Khans, seeing his county rival about to lap him, and Khans is in third. I mean, that's how ridiculous this performance has been by Noob, our championship leader. It has been astounding, with Hickey not scoring, with Sam not scoring, and Khans, uh, his furthest away challenger, scoring 10 fewer than him, this could go a long way in deciding the championship. Yeah, this, as we said at the start, this could be a pivotal race in, in the result of this first season of TLB ORL. Oh, it really rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. I think we might have to change the name before the end Maybe. of the, this, uh, well, before next season. If, season two. Well, I was going to say, yeah, if things stay as they are, Noob is going to have a 30 point lead going into the last three rounds. I think it really has turned into a position where it's Noob's to lose. PJ Marshall jumps out of the way of Noob. And, well, that's going to do it then. Noob has lapped the field, which now means that everyone else behind him is going to do one lap fewer, so only 38 is going to be completed. Oh, look who's got involved on this little battle. It's Bilal, Bilal Khan. Khan. Bilal Khan is right on the back of his brother. Khan holds this third place. He'll go level on points with Hickey, who isn't scoring. But if he doesn't keep Bilal Khan behind him, that won't happen. Can Bilal Khan do anything here to affect the result? He's only got two and a half laps to do it, remember, not three. DJ Marshall will be praying that these two fight enough that he can get away slightly. Can DJ Marshall get his first podium in the league in just his third race? Be pretty incredible to see. Uh, Bilal Khan's got a really nice exit yeah, out, of nice out of there. He's going to have to hold up and follow Khan's through. Oh, and he's hit the wall though. Oh, and I, no, I think I he's think fine. He's got away with it. Yeah, he has. Lucky boy. Still very close though. Marshall, Khan's Bilal. And as you say, Mena is going to be right behind Racer Don. Yeah, we expected him to make up the difference. It's all very well making up the difference though. You have to get the move done somehow. Uh, as Lopez is winning the pit stops, he's in the pits again. <laughs> Just wants to win something today. Oh, and Racer oh, Don's in the wall. Racer Don, no, he's not. almost in the wall there. He, he may have been. We're not too sure from that angle that we saw. Oh, oh and Don's around. around. Racer Don is around. There was contact with Mayner. He's not out of the race, but he has conceded the position. Nightmare for Race of Dawn. Just clipped the wall on the exit of Rascas and then Amena couldn't do anything but just tipped him around as well. Oh! Oh, late breaking into that corner. Love it. That's what we live for. <laughs> Literally. Uh, as they pass. Oh no! Uh, Yatan. Oh, and Bilal Khan has lost a bit of front wing and that might put an end to his challenge of third. Noob, meanwhile, stroking at home. He doesn't need to make. He's in rich mix, so he's not holding back. He wants to show everyone. Lap. Yeah, maybe so. He wants to show everyone that he has dominated this race from start to finish. We'll see. Don't don't put it in the wall now. Come on. I mean, we did see. I don't want to remind him of it, but Azerbaijan he binned it on the final lap. On the final corner as well. We'll see what he does as he comes comes across the line. Uh, just two more to go and Noob handles it very well 39 laps of pure brilliance from the Red Bull driver Noob wins again his fifth race of the year that he's claimed victory and he's done it by over a lap DJ Marshall claims his first podium he's finished second just ahead of the Carnes brothers Carnes 007 in third after starting 15th Bilal Khan is fourth I think Purple pa Petrol there was uh, possibly two or even three laps down, but he will pick up a point. <laughs> well, well done to Purple Petrol and Pat Hagen, who wasn't yeah. in this race at all, is going to finish ninth. Yep, Mayner finishes in fifth place. Uh, Lopez has done and dusted because he was a lap back, as was Curly Apex. That's a lap further back, I should say. Um, so, Racer Don now, just him and the ghost of Pat O'Hagan left across the line. Racer Don was hang hanging on to third place at times in the race, but I think sixth place, he's not going to be too unhappy with that. And there you have it. Let's get to the podium. And there you have the infamous 
Monaco podium and you, you can't dispute who deserves to be on the top sp step today the infamous Monaco trophy held by Noob one step closer to the championship yeah a huge leap towards the championship today no doubt about it Carnes is going to finish third and in between them DJ Marshall not in the championship fight by any means but uh, a great 18 points for him uh, and there is confirmation of it Noob wins DJ Marshall second Carnes runs out the podium Bilal Khan was in fourth Red Bull won four that pretty much confirms that they, they're going to claim the Constructors Championship now Mena is in fifth Racer Don is in sixth Lopez picked up a few penalties but will still finish seventh Renault of Curly Apex is eighth Pat O'Hagan will pick up two points for ninth place and Purple Petrol is tenth the non-finishers Janssen the Googles Wise of the Dragons Gilly and someone else oh sorry mate <laughs> sorry yeah um gilly and that's it because jackie didn't oh of start. course jackie he didn't start the race that's where i'm getting confused um so that's gonna do it uh thank you very much for joining us for coverage of the monaco grand prix next week we will be in brazil three to go ladies and gents i've been ben hocking i have been harry Eade. and at least for most of the race it has been sam sage as well keep breaking late